Let's talk about bank credit cards for a fair credit. And the thing is that when we talk about bank credit cards for fair credit, we're talking about banks that really are flexible in terms of uh, credit limits, but also in terms of credit card itself, the credit card rewards also. So the APR is around uh, 10% to 20% on average. And um, so if you are if you have fair credit, you want to hear as a review, I want you to pay attention to. The first card I want you to really look at, I want you to observe now is uh, the City Custom Cash card. This card is, is just fantastic. We love the card because uh, you have 5% cash back on up to uh, $500 in purchases in your top eligible uh, spend category each billing cycle. This is really good. You have a welcome bonus of $200 and the regular APR that goes from 19% to 29%. So that's really cool. And so this, this card is a great option for people looking to maximize cash back rewards without having to worry about activating or selecting bonus categories. So no registration required to earn bonus rewards. Cashback categories are unique categories that other cards may not offer bonus rewards for. Introductory APR on purchases and balance transfers. And the card has no annual fee. So this is really cool. And so, you know, we love the fact that the $200 cashback is really fantastic. Okay. And uh, but I need to really award you that with this card, you have a high balance transfer fee. You have a high foreign transaction fee and some everyday rewards categories are neglected okay so the two hundred dollars i was talking to you a little earlier it's not actually uh it's not two hundred dollars cash back after you spent five hundred dollars but after you spent fifteen hundred dollars on purchases in the first six months of account opening now the the bonus offer actually uh, will be fulfilled as a uh, twenty thousand thank you points which can be redeemed for two hundred dollars cash back you have a 0% intro APR on balance transfers and purchases for 15 months. After that, the variable APR is, as I think I just told you, 19 to 20%, 19% to 20%, to 29%. And you can earn 5% cash back on purchases in your top eligible spend category each billing cycle up to the, the first $500 spend, 1% cash back thereafter. Also, you can earn unlimited 1% cash back on all other purchases. So this is really cool. What we love about the card here is that... Uh, there are no rotating uh, bonus categories to sign up for. This is really fantastic. And this card has no annual fee either. Boss, welcome back to the show. It's really a pleasure to have you here. Make yourself comfortable. You are going to enjoy today's conversation. Next, I want to share with you another city card. And, and this is the city double cash card. This is a personal credit card, fair credit and uh we love the fact that here you have up to two percent reward rate and so first you earn one percent unlimited cash back on every purchase you make then as you pay for those purchases you earn the other one percent and uh the bonus the welcome bonus is kind of similar here we are speaking about two hundred dollars cash back so this is kind of cool and the apr is kind of similar to you you are looking at 19 percent to 29 percent and the card what we love about the card here is that this card has a simple cash back structure and long-lasting balance transfer APR they really make the city double cash back a favorite among those who want to set it and forget it and who also have a fair credit and the card actually uh, offers a solid cash back rate on all purchases and 0% intro APR on balance transfers all without an annual fee so this is really uh, really uh, important to remember and so I want to talk to you about the pros and cons of, the, of uh, this card the, the pros first, you can earn up to 2% cash back, 1% when the purchase is made and 1% when payment is made on the account. No cash back cap, so there is no limit on the amount of cash back that can be uh, earned. No annual fee and uh, the intro, you have an introductory APR period for balance transfers. So this is really cool. Now, the uh, on the flip side, you have a foreign transaction fee, kind of similar to the city custom cash card. And there is a balance transfer fee that can go all the way to 5%. And you have 5% uh, of the amount transferred. And there's a lack of benefits seen in uh, other no annual fee cards. And there are no introductory 0% APR on purchases, only on balance transfer. So be very careful here. And uh, so, but the cool thing is you can earn 2% on every purchase with unlimited 1% cashback when you buy plus an additional 1% as you pay for those purchases. To earn cash back, pay at least the minimum due on time. Plus for a limited time, you can earn 5% total cash back on hotel, car rentals, and attractions booked through uh, the city travel portal. And this is really cool. So this is, uh, and this is through, uh, through the end of this year, by the way. And one thing I wanna say is that the balance transfers are actually uh, 
that you have a 0% intro APR on balance transfers for 18 months. So this is really cool, but it's only for balance transfers. Also, I want to quickly remind you of today's topic. We are having a conversation about fair credit bank credit cards. You need to be aware of this year. Next, I want to share with you Capital One Quick Silver One Cash Rewards Credit Card. So this is another wonderful credit card and, and that allows you to have up to 5% rewards rate. You can earn unlimited 1.5% cashback on every purchase and uh, every day. Plus, you earn 5% cashback on hotels and rental cars. And But the, the card, the only thing, uh, the only bummer here is that the card has a high, a high, um, a relatively high APR. So we are looking at 30% and there is an annual fee of $39. But uh, if you have a fair credit, you will love uh, this from Capital One Bank. This is a great option for those with uh, less than stellar credit. And the cool thing is that this card actually offers a, a gateway to building better credit while earning a respectable 1.5% cashback rewards rate. You may also gain a higher credit line in as little as uh, six months from account opening. So this is really cool. So if you were to look at the pros and cons of this card, you the pros first, you have unlimited 1.5% cashback rewards. You have fair to average credit apl applicants that are considered. You have no foreign transaction fee and the rewards do not expire. And uh, what about the, the disadvantages? Well, you have a high APR that I said 30%, that's kind of high. No boosted rate in common spending categories, no welcome offer, no intro APR offer either. So this is something to, to really think about. But the card over, overall will allow the fact that you are earning unlimited 1.5% cash back on every purchase, every single day. This is really cool. And uh, you are automatically uh, considered for a higher credit limits in as little as six months. And this is really cool. And uh, on top of that, you enjoy peace of mind with zero dollar fraud liability so that you will not be responsible for unauthorized charges. And this is really cool. And the cool thing also is that you are able to monitor your credit score with credit wise from Capital One. And this is really and this you do not have to uh, have an account with Capital One. It's free for everyone. And uh, you also can check out quickly and securely with a contactless card without touching the terminal or handing your, your card to uh, a cashier. Just hover your card over a contactless reader, reader, wait for the confirmation, and you're all set. So this is just fantastic. So when we talk about personal credit cards, fair credit from bank, the, I want to share with you a Credit One Bank, bank American Express credit card. And uh, with this card, you are able to, uh, so this card is, is from Credit One Bank. And uh, so you can earn unlimited 1% 1 uh, cashback rewards on all purchases. You have $0 for liability that ensures that you are not responsible for unauthorized charges, of course. You have retail protection that covers you if you are, if an ineligible uh, item is accidentally uh, damaged or stolen. And uh, you get deals on shopping, dining, travel, and entertainment through Amex offers. And because this card is actually a hybrid between a, it's actually a, not a hybrid, it's a, a joint venture between Credit One Bank and American Express. So you get deals, uh, you know, you enjoy exclusive access to pre-sale tickets for some of the hottest nationwide concert and, and events. This we we found this card to be a really great when it comes to uh, families. Like you know, if you are going to, if you love going to baseball games, to basketball games, to uh, football games, or what have you, you will love this card a lot. Okay. And you also know you are covered when the unexpected happens while traveling with travel accident insurance. Now, this this travel ex accident insurance is an important element that uh, American Express is trying to sell uh, to uh, all all of his uh, all of her, all of its cardholders. Uh, this is something to to keep in mind. And also, uh, if you are a covered member under the Military Lending Act, you may get a different offer. But the this different offer can be your uh, good or bad depending upon your financial situation and also your credit profile now what are the pros and cons some of uh, the pros and cons the pros you have cashback rewards on all purchases so this is really good in terms of the totality of rewards that apply to this card and you have access to mx offers so this is really cool that depending upon your situation you will love it okay and, and uh, so those are the pros what about the cons here you have a high apr 
and there are no balance transfers allowed. So there are cases where uh, you cannot actually have a balance transfer, a balance transfers allowed with uh, this with this card. But overall, fantastic card. Also, I want to quickly remind you of today's topic. We are having a conversation about uh, bank fair credit credit cards. Next, I want to share with you Discover with Student Chrome. I mean, uh, this is from Discover Bank, and uh, obviously, uh, this this will uh, transition to Capital One at some point when uh, the merger or the acquisition has been completed. But uh, this is a great bank. This is a great um, credit card for fair credit. If you are in, if you are a student or qualify for the uh, the card's eligibility requirements, so you have zero percent intro APR on purchases for six months and ten ninety nine intro APR on balance transfers. For six months okay and uh so and the regular apr is kind of decent too you are looking at 18 percent to 27 percent and uh so this is really good so this card actually shines with its uh, no maintenance reward structure and student friendly bonus categories you also get a free FICO score low fees and uh, forgiveness for your first late payment plus discover says there's no FICO history requirements for this card so this is really cool but if you have any question it's just better to call uh, discover to ask all questions and the number is 1-800-347-0264. The card is just fantastic because uh, you earn 2% cash back at restaurants and gas stations on up to $1,000 in combined purchases per quarter. This is per quarter. And 1% cash back on all other purchases. And unlike with the Discover's uh, other student card, you don't have to activate your bonus rewards this card has an annual fee of zero dollar there is also a discover signature bonus with uh like for new uh card holders and one thing i want to say here is that uh although there is a no there is no foreign transaction fee discover is not as widely accepted abroad as other cars so if you plan to travel internationally make sure you have a backup plan now discover through the recent acquisition by capital one will actually rebrand itself so that they can actually espouse the MasterCard sort of uh, the MasterCard network that uh, American that uh, Capital One has, and so long story short, it's important to understand that you have a limited cashback match for all new card members, and uh, so Discover will automatically match all the cashback you have earned at the end of your first year. So you can turn fifty dollars cash back into a hundred dollars, or turn a hundred dollars cash back into two hundred dollars. So there is no minimum spending or maximum rewards, just a dollar for a dollar match. And this is really cool. And you can also earn 2% cash back at gas, uh, at gas stations and restaurants on up to $1,000 in combined purchases each quarter automatically. That's what I said a little earlier. And uh, so this is really good. And you can really redeem your rewards for cash for cash back or cash anytime this is really cool in terms of flexibility you have credit one bank wonder card and uh, this this card is a great uh, bank credit card for fair credit and here we are looking at rewards rate so here we have up to 10x rewards rate you can earn 10x points on eligible hotels and car rentals booked through the credit one bank travel site and this is really cool and, and there's a but the card has an annual fee though the annual fee is 95 dollars and the regular APR is 20, 29%. So the, the wonder is that is the rare card that combines high value travel and gas earnings and only average credit needed to apply. And what are the pros and cons of this card? Let, let's quickly dig a little deeper here. The pros first, there are no foreign transaction fees. You have a high reward potential. And uh, so this issuer as it advertises requires an, an average minimum credit rating. What about the, the cons here? Well, you do have a $95 annual fee. This is this could be a this could discourage a lot of uh, applicants or prospective applicants. There are no uh, there's no low introductory APR period, and you have a high very high 29% variable APR. But the card itself is is kind of interesting because uh, with zero dollar for liability, you won't be responsible for unauthorized charges. You have a free online credit score and credit report summaries, and then those uh, there are the terms will be uh, will be applicable. It, and uh, you earn 10x points on eligible hotels and car rentals booked through the Credit One Bank travel partner site. 
you can earn 5%, actually 5%, 5x points on eligible travel, dining and gas. You can earn 1x points on all other purchases and you can redeem. And the cool thing is you can redeem your, your, uh, your uh, rewards the way you want. So you can redeem your reward points for statement credits, gift cards, merchandise, flights, hotels, and more. So you have the flexibility there in terms of uh, getting things done the proper way. And uh, let me share with you the approach. So you, you, you heard the five, the six bank credit cards for fair credit. And it's really important to understand that your credit score actually doesn't just impact how much interest you pay on loans and credit cards for that matter. It plays a much bigger role like renting an apartment, buying a home, insurance costs, utilities and phone plans, and credit limits. And speaking of credit limits, not all credit cards for fair credit have a high limits. So depending on your credit score, you can end up with a credit limit as low as $200 to $300 making it very difficult to build credit, especially if you use too much of your available credit, okay? And, but it's important to understand that you, you can also get an unsecured card for, uh, let's say, fair or average credit. I mean, you know, unsecured card, I mean, secure card actually you require a secure deposit, which usually acts as your starting credit limits, though you may not find many secure cards with the rewards or cashback program. You might be able to put down a large security deposit so if you have a high credit limit and keep a low balance, you can maintain a healthy uh, credit utilization ratio, which makes up uh, 30% of your credit score. And if you want to choose a credit card for fair credit, uh, you know, it's important to understand that you want to first pay your bills on time and avoid debt because, uh, I mean, the credit card is there, but uh, you have to be proactive also to make sure you don't find yourself in a situation where you have to uh, get a credit card for fair credit. Then you want to check your credit report. You want to wait before opening new accounts. It's one of those things where you have to really wait. And uh, it's uh, also important to understand that you are going to be responsible for the credit card, not the credit card issuer. You are going to be the the, the one responsible for the, for the card. And uh, also consider keeping older credit accounts opening. So a credit card that you have had for a long time adds to your length of credit history, a significant contributor to your credit score. So uh, this then this will be very helpful to you at the end of the day. And uh, you also have uh, all kinds of possibilities. So it's one of those things, again, it's uh, it really depends upon uh, your goal, depends upon uh, what kind of personality you have. But uh, long story short, the limits also that you get depends on how you structure the, the application. Uh, the credit card application, did you actually apply it over the phone? Did you apply it on, online? Did you go to a branch? Do you have a con Did you have a conversation with folks? Before you applied, or you just applied uh, like uh, you know based on uh, what 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 you have seen in the protocol in terms of uh, the application. So this is really important, and you, this is one of those things where you have to pay attention to not only at the beginning but also near the end because that's going to help you a lot. Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. Let's do a quick recap of today's conversation. So I gave you the review of personal credit cards, fair credit bank, and uh, one custom city custom cash card, number two city double cash card, number three capital one quick silver one cash rewards card, number four credit one Bank of America Express credit card, number five you have a uh, Discover Student Chrome, and number seven number six you have credit one Bank Wonder card. Thank you so much. God bless you. I'll see you next time. Until then, remember, stay marvelous.